tuned in to the connect. What up, world? Welcome to the connect. It's your boy Slim Thugger, DJ Young Sam, Boss Life Rico, OG Shaw, and we got a guest in the house tonight. We got our boy who. Ellie Dollar, man, what's going down, baby? Ellie yeah, Dollar in the cut, steak man. Steak and shrimp, nigga. <laughs> you know steak and saying? shrimp, nigga, eating yeah, good. Yeah, baby. Basically, we just in our motherfucking uh, dungeon doing shit, and we just say, hey, man, let's let's knock this podcast out, man. Since we got our people in here, man, Killer's supposed to be on the way. He say twenty minutes. We thinking ninety minutes. So <laughs> right on. Man. Let's go with it, Rico. You well, I got them, Sam. But well, it's your yeah, segment, right? It's all on you, player. We start off with the music blog Let's first. Start off with the music. So, yeah, music. who dropped new? So, pretty much, uh, GT Garza. Yeah, GT Garza jamming, man. Uh, yes, sir. Who else y'all listening Killer to? Killer dropped some, and um, Black Youngster dropped the new album. I'm fucking with the new single he got on there. Future then dropped two projects. Future, I, I've been listening to the last yeah, one. What's the great cover? Yeah. yeah, I've been listening to cool. the first one. The first one, I like that one, though. Man, you know who I, I just started listening to? Jadina, whatever the classic man do with the red hair. Jadina. <laughs> Jadina. The nigga he, he jam? actually jam. Jadina. The nigga is like on some gangster that? shit. Classic man. He on some. Oh, he got an album out? Yeah, he got an album out. It's, it's, it's kind of a couple classic songs on there. Classic man on some gangster shit. Come on some gangster shit. He got a song called. Oh, classic man. Man, he got a song called <laughs> Let Out. Meet me at Sound Like Chocolate Town. Niggas you say that raw. like you can't believe it. <laughs> I, I couldn't can't either though. It. He got a song, <laughs> Niggas Getting Robbed, Getting Shot at the Let Out. Hey, he got a, It's all right. Check him out. Check it out. Yeah, What's man. his name? Jadena. I can't spell that. Me neither. <laughs> but it, it, I'm going to look up classic. It, it come up on our new shit on our uh, Apple Music. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Who else dropped, Sam? Some and, new uh, shit. Remy and Joe, didn't they drop? Yeah, yeah, Remy and Joe, they actually got a jam in that city. Like, they on there spitting like a motherfucker. I make I make playlists now. I don't, even, I don't really listen to albums all the way. I mean, I listen to them, but then I just pick shit I like off of them. You got to, because all of them ain't going to have no more than three four songs on them that jam anyway. Boys is jamming that Welcome to Houston, too. That yeah, boys is jamming. fucking with that Welcome to Houston, man. Y'all need to get it if you ain't got it. Check it out if you ain't heard it. Hey. Then uh, Tracy T came out. He got a jamming ass CD. Tracy T. Yeah, he jamming. Who else? Uh, that's all right now. Tracy. What old school shit y'all listening to right now? Oh jeez, the old school. When you get tired I was just of listening, listening to that, that Goody Mob Soul Food. Yeah, I didn't have my, I didn't went through my whole Goody Mob days. Man, once again, I just started doing playlists, man. What's man, in your man. playlist? Give us a few clips of what's in your playlist. What? What you talking about? I who, got who? 2017. I got Nav. Nav, NAV. I seen that album, but I ain't click on I, it I yet. I seen it, but I, I ain't got a uh, Some Way with the Weekend. That bitch jam. I got the Migos t shirt. I got Shining with B, uh, Khaled. That shit jam. Yeah, I like that. I got The Future. Good Dope. Draco. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I got the, the, the niggas who, the different niggas who jamming, though. Who? Divine Council. Divine yeah, Council yeah. name, the, the song named December. It got yeah, yeah. Andre, oh, yeah. Andre 3000. Andre That's 3000. A ja- that video bro. is fresh yeah, in the yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, you know who I've been yeah. jamming that you um, put us on is the nigga um, Buddy. T. Shine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy, up, buddy. Then that uh, T Grizzly, T. Grizzly first day out. <laughs> hey, yeah. niggas been yeah. getting on this. I was yeah. in uh, in the barber shop and niggas was telling me about that. They catching see? on. Who put you Matter of fact, first, yeah, you, he was you. he was just uh, performing that motherfucking Atlanta. I think in Gold Room the other right. night. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But you know what? I, don't see I think it. the song is actually old, but people just catching on to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I caught, yeah. I, yeah. I was ahead. I was ahead of the curve. On the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. called it. You and called I it. I said that divine council December with three three thousand. This was some last two weeks ago shit. That was last week. We was yeah, in there for the podcast. Um, what else? I got that make love with Gucci and Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? That swing with Ray Schremer. I Ain't fuck that with that. that name? Yeah, that I two fuck chains, with that. good drink. That's my shit right there. Yeah. Future mask off. Future my yeah. collection. Yeah. yeah, that collection of bad one. That's off there. Coming out strong one. with Weekend. That nigga Weekend be jamming. Yeah, Weekend though. be jamming like, like a motherfucker. Weekend, I fuck with the Weekend because he be talking about some shit. He don't just be talking about hoes and love. He yeah. be talking about doing Snort some real, and all, all kind, kind of, of shit. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with him. Being broke in the motherfucker. Yeah, Weekend. Yeah, all right. that. yeah, he jamming, man. Did y'all go check out that um, movie Get Out? 
I still haven't went. I went Sorry. to the movies last night. The fucking power got knocked out at the Witchman Car. They ain't letting it in. Damn. Yeah, that, that whole was pretty much a good movie, though. It was funny as fuck. I, I ain't saw it. Damn. What else? What else shaking around this bitch? <clears throat> I, when I go back to the old shit, I be listening to that um, old school Jay-Z and shit that did it my way. Imaginary players and shit, you know what I'm saying? I got playlists. Out. Lester, what yeah. you listening to right now? You the rapper. Man, right now, crazy. I've been listening to like the Black Monks. Like, three, the two. Old, yeah, the old three, two. A lot shit. of motherfuckers don't know what that is. A lot of these yeah, youngsters yeah. don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I've been checking hand out, revisiting that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, uh, what I was on the other You day. just came from Cali. What, what the Cali was like? Cali was cool, man. Out there just learning the game. Because I feel like out here they ain't show us a lot of stuff. Yeah. That goes on in the game right now. You know what I'm saying? Like how to operate in the game right now as far as the touring and shit. So just been out there putting all that together. Right. And you know, seeing what they on out there, like uh the, the dude the first the first day out shit, that's popping out there. It's popping in county. Nigga, that shit. No Nigga, shit. That shit that's street music. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, not yeah. talking about like it niggas know that shit word for word in the clubs. Like coast that. to coast, like, yeah, you can like, feel like, that, man. I mean, love every that nigga done been in front that judge. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of niggas, I don't say every nigga, but a lot of niggas have been in front in the predicament he was in. Yeah, that's when I heard it. I felt it. I was like, that bitch jam. Niggas say, uh, tell them crackers holler at me when they sober. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, that, so I think they thought he was a Cali nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Where he from? He from Detroit, huh? Yeah, Detroit. Yeah, oh, West. shit, I thought he was a Bay nigga. I thought that was some hyphy shit. Lance and Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, like yeah, he did okay, say man, that. He said Kentucky, so yeah. it's one of them. Uh, I Kentucky thought the nigga Lance was just on, Michigan. took his show on the road or something. That's what Nigga say, can't even go in there with a hoodie on. You really, what nigga do you know that's from Kentucky that rap? For real though, has it been one? Oh, but man. I know one thing: you can't tell me no different. He wrote that motherfucker in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 that whole song many yeah. yeah. times. Yeah. He, he perfected that whole. Yeah. 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 He probably wrapped that whole in jail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got that whole yeah. beat on his chest. He walked out that bit, went straight to the studio. Say, "Cause I got a banger." I love that old fucking tank rocking on his bitch. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. Right on, fucking jam, though. I like it. Right on, right on. I like. I'm trying to find some old new shit. Though. I'm tired of everything I've been listening to on the cool. I get tired of new shit that fast, though. Some shit. shit. She get repetitive. Yeah, it do man. It do it's just. It need more options. Like, it, it need to be more options. It need to be more genres and rap, man. But you know what? Niggas I think... need to still be making music like they used to make it. It need to be still some niggas dropping shit. Yeah. yeah. Rapper, it's, it's the rap radio with content. Though. Fuck it's, the radio. It's the that, I'm saying now. that's why rappers is making songs like they're making. They making shit that they hear on the radio because they think that's yeah, gonna make them pop. They, yeah, they, but they I'm saying it. right now it's not. It don't even matter no more because you don't even need the radio really. Yeah. Like so, right now it should be a good time when niggas can do what they do because everybody wants their own kind of rap. If I can buy a Nas album, he's still speaking with that content. You know what I'm saying? A Jay Z album. You know, or just, you know, any kind of shit like that versus what you get today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, it'll be live. Just I to think. have that option, too. You know, it's cool let them, you know, I like the new shit, too. I'm jamming Amigos. I'm jamming out in the race. Room. I like all that shit. But I, to have an option to go get some other shit, too. It's all the new shit. Yeah, it's a new from, shit from with, the, yeah. that, with that 90s type of content. You yeah. Know, niggas was talking about telling stories or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ever just go back and listen to some old uh, ghetto boys and them Jake? Them there. niggas be killing bitches on them yeah, out. Them, <laughs> them niggas murderers. was women murderers yeah. to the death. Yeah. They niggas was, was D. man. Oh, them so niggas that crazy, was, was so treacherous. Nip, nigga, yeah, but, but they don't have that good shit no more, man. Because a bitch ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> a nigga scared he, to say it because they want a bitch. He ain't lie. <laughs> man, look. I don't know, though. Black youngster be talking about raping bitches and shit. That's what. That's way really out of pocket. <laughs> that's out of pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. comes still trying to take it to me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he tripping. He they, put, they give it up too easy to take it. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's way too easy, my nigga. It, it's, it's, and all you got to do is, I ain't going to tell you. 
<laughs> All you gotta do is do what you do, nigga. Drink on swab, man. Holler at me when they sober. <laughs> hey. Fuck, yeah, but yeah. But what we was talking about? Killing bitches. What it was it? Yeah, was man, but, but don't kill You no know bitches. what's crazy? It's like how the different genres of rap is. It's like us growing up, we grew up to bitches ain't shit, but hoes and yeah. tricks. You know, it was about a bitch can't get a quarter from me. Bitch. <laughs> no. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, bitch. <laughs> Give it all to her. Hard on the whole. Now they got a million dollars. Yeah. Dog. Man, it's baby, cool in the strip club. Baby, let me buy you this. Baby, baby, you can have whatever rain. you like. You nigga, have, yeah. the nigga hook say, I'll pay your bills. Yeah. Yeah. I'll buy you a bill. It's a whole other trick on your hoe. Same thing it. like back in the day, nigga. You could not get no nigga to admit to eat no pussy, nope. nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nigga ain't what? A bitch. what? Nah, I ain't do that. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Nah, niggas, hold, get up, baby. Let me eat that. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Went all the way left. Eating pussy like no kissing. mystery in nothing. That's just like the stripping. Eating like, pussy like kissing. Stripping was low key. <laughs> Nah, it's it's all it's I a know. thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, man. They used to really used to treat it like a job, and, and you couldn't nobody know nothing about it. Only tricks went to the strip club. Now the strip yeah. club is the party. After yeah. hour, that's yeah. the yeah. hour. Eat that and everything now. I don't give a damn what they say. I ain't doing shit in that motherfucker. I, I know them all, don't even, but I'll tell them, don't even waste your time, man. You over here working for nothing. I feel you. I'm not in here for that. I'm not the nigga that's sitting in front of the stage getting a free look. I'm in the corner minding my business waiting on my you food. You can't look them in their eyes. When they right. pass by, you can't let them I, I, show that you look. They gonna I don't even, I might sneak a free look every once in a while, <laughs> yeah. but I ain't gonna even stare you down, bitch, because I yeah, feel like I owe you. right over there to you. Can I help you? She right, though. If I'm staring at her, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking, Rico. You looking? <laughs> They gonna come over there and hit you with a bill. Watch, hey, look, you been here, you been here six times. You stared at me. <laughs> Shy, you owe me three fifty, my nigga. <laughs> For real, yeah, I, I, I had a home girl tell me she was saying something about man, your partner. I like your partner and stuff. I say, yeah. I say, man, she say something about it. ooh, he can uh. He got a good job too. He'll do this. I say, what make you think he gonna trick on your dust ass? I'm like, if a nigga bounce up in this pussy, he gonna pay for something. I say, yeah. man, everybody that's got the mind frame. That's the mind. Okay. Yeah, that's they, they got him that's fucked up. Niggas got him thinking. Yeah, so. ain't no that pussy was given to you. You need to give it to somebody else. Don't be trying to charge somebody. <laughs> you know? yeah. I'm like, hey, you gotta pay me for this air. No, oh, nigga, go. air is free, my nigga. God gave you that vagina Instagram to give to man. That's what it like, is. Like the girl with all the followers and all the ass, nigga, she ain't got nothing. Nothing going on. Projects, man. <laughs> <laughs> nothing going on. She can't do nothing with the, what this mother nigga say. You well, can't do make no money. She talk, you think she got bread because she got all them followers. Show me how you can make some money off of all them followers. Then I respect you. You got two million followers just to like your picture every day. That ain't doing a motherfucking thing. You need to make the one million of them motherfuckers spend a dollar at least yeah, or something, <laughs> goddamn. People be faking that shit, though. Yeah, cause a lot, a lot of these motherfuckers that you see be hosting these parties and shit. They got five million followers, a million followers. You see them hoes on the gram, you like, ooh. Soon as them hoes host a party, you be like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. You don't look nothing like you looked in that picture. <laughs> nothing at all. That makeup, that, that, that Instagram, boys. some filters. Them <laughs> filters. Oh. That see, that's fucked up. If I was a promoter and I paid this pretty fine bitch to come out here, up she like showed up looking years. like, bitch, where the rest of your ass when you're not getting the rest of your cash, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> only it's half. Right. They be using too, nigga. I tell that hoe, hey. Making their face super clear. Bitch, only they half of them. Making their face look super Yeah. Clear. yeah. Don't know only these half of the bitch like showed up, so I should only owe you man. half of the money. Now let these girls make it, man. Let's stop women bashing, man. Nah, we not women bashing, but you know. I can outside, women. Yeah, all right. I'm going outside, women. Oh, man, look at this. Boy, thir- no look pussy. at this thirst bucket ass nigga tripping. right here. I don't even know who's listening to this anyway. It's a meal park. <laughs> nah, you good, nigga. But hey, yeah. I love the women. Just stop tricking niggas. Yeah. <laughs> stop yeah. lying to us. Just tell us what it is off the must. Yeah, hey. yeah, he will too. <laughs> tell me all the time. If you ain't giving me no money, I'm not fucking with you. I'm good for a good date or some shit. 
saying? But that's trick and tell, if you think about it. I mean, if they want Some niggas, that, I'm just saying what a trick or tell me. He'll say, you'll go to dinner and have some drinks or something, and you done spent the 100. I'm going to just get it out the way and get my 150, 200, and we ain't even got to talk. We can save all that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong. wrong. I ain't knocking with nobody. But see, though. the thing over the difference is, once he pay for it or whatever that one time, that means he going to have to pay for it again. After you take on that date, that means you in there. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it's a better situation for dudes. No, you, you pay that over that 150 pound of rice. She might come back with three on her. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Uh, hell no. Nah, the way they think, they going to be like, all right, he paid once, nigga. Let's come pay again. <laughs> Sam <laughs> sound like he been through that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, I, I'm not going to have you. I'm not going to have you in my checking account every month. A real career. Yeah, yeah, pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I should, my membership fee should go down. <laughs> now hold on, now hold on, sugar. I gave you 150 in the next thing. He you says you need your hair done. I didn't know I was going to keep doing it every time. Hey, I done photoshopped I all your pictures for the gram and everything. I didn't put this badass filter on all your pictures. Uh, I can't. You got me detailing that panther for free now. <laughs> I like you, but hey. And I scream your name out every time you come in the club. Tricking uh, ass Sam, yeah. baby. You know it's tricking ass Troy. Nah. No. Like, hey. Why you over acting like yeah. he ain't hey. the biggest yeah. trick in the city, though? Tricking ass Troy. It got a ring to it. Oh, my trick and, and these other trick niggas, uh, our shit don't compare, my nigga. <laughs> the little shit we joke about, them niggas go in. So, maybe yeah, a, a baby. There's levels to that shit. It's levels like a motherfucker. It's levels. Hey, you at the top of the level, huh? Nah, I ain't at the top, man. I know some niggas that give it all. I know some niggas that rob other niggas to pay for the Oh, <laughs> I know a story. I'm gonna tell you. I Come know. She. I know a story. She. I, I can't show my hands, but I'm gonna tell you. Look, this nigga right here burnt. Just say burnt less. So let's let's burn 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 me for some money. Let's had to pay me back. So he burnt Slim. <laughs> Slim start getting on uh less ass. So. Let's burn uh shy to get the money to pay Slim back. <laughs> and I swear that's a real true story. And all that's this crazy. nigga do is trick on hoes, bro. It trick on hoes. That shit is an addiction. Now just think you ain't never came up getting no pretty girls and all of a sudden you paying them and you getting them. You gonna want that, my nigga. You get addicted to them. That's crazy. That's man. a killer, yeah. man. That's a shit is addiction. So that's like a drink habit. <laughs> nigga can't go <laughs> he can't he don't wanna go back to them dust buckets. Yeah, man. Hey, well. If you got like a whole gal and shit, nigga be like, fuck that. I'm going to just drop this quick two, three hundred. And, Makes know. sense. It do. I ain't hate none of this. Makes sense. Nigga not saying that. go on Jensen and get a prostitute off the corner at the, <laughs> at yeah. the quick mark. You know what I'm saying? You go find you one of them hoes now with 100,000 followers that ain't making no money. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it on real fast. <laughs> <laughs> like <it's some> <laughs> you, you you winning. You hit that self take it on in. Yeah, boy, wild, man. Yeah, but enough of tricking and selling yeah. pussy, man. Uh, shout out to Birdman Jones. Rest in peace, man. He got his own, his own day in the city of Houston. April, uh, P. April 21st. Birdman Jones. If April you know me, you know me. Hey, man, that's crazy. Old Birdman. All right, P to the birds, man. At least he got he got his day though. Yeah, that's cool. Bird, he uh, let me see why. Let me I'm gonna read y'all why why Bird got his day. He was doing something with I'm I'm just stalling really till I skim through the paragraph and kind of see. You know, he graduated yes. from a major university. He was great with kids, and I he can't. did it for a while. He did it, yeah. He, he worked with spe special time, need man. kids. Right. And and he did it. And he ca he was like, uh, I think, even Teacher of the Year of 2016. That's dope, man. That's crazy, though. The Sam was real. If you know me, you know me. You know me, you know me. You know me, you know me. Hey. Uh, R.I.P. Bird. Yeah. Moving on, on, moving on down. So what else we had to talk about was, man, we was just talking about these... Females again, man. We was talking about child support court. Uh oh, how we get on this? I don't know, man. How we got on? I'm just it sound I, like a familiar. You said, uh oh, like a familiar <laughs> story it was involved. So slim, since you've been through it, Sam, you probably going through it. Nah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you ain't been to court. You settled your shit out. <laughs> Yeah. Tricking ass Sam. Matter of fact, Tricking ass Sam. Matter of fact, I ain't even show up to court. 
they just sent my own payments. So, uh, so do you think, Slim, Sam, do y'all think that it's fair for the man and now, or it's all the way against the man and then on the woman's it's side? It's all the way it's against the, the man against. and it's for the woman, but I don't, I'd rather pay child support than have to, you know what I'm saying? To deal with it. Deal with the extra shit. They can't, nobody can't fuck with me. I pay my child support, everybody can't say nothing to me. It's cool. So it's what peace. you mean when you say deal with that? You I pay for shit. peace. I pay for peace. Nobody can't say nothing to me because they get their child support. So don't even call you and tell you they on the way. Nah, just, I don't got no problems with my uh, baby mamas at all. Like uh, at all. So I'm just saying, like I would rather it be like that. Where you know we got an agreement and it's just you know. No, nah, I we see niggas. That. Well, why the fuck do niggas always argue with their baby mamas? Because they don't want to do the agreement. They don't want to, um, you know, pay whatever they asking for. Uh, but you know some of these girls too, man. It be really be sometimes it don't be fair. Yeah, it be some sometimes tip for tat shit some though. Crazy shit. Them hoes will be mad because he got another gal and moved on. You know what I'm saying? It just be wanting All to do that. little small That's shit. I'm That's what I mean when I say pay for peace. Yeah. See, if you pay your child support, you ain't got to deal with none of that talking because everything is on paper. With what y'all got to do, it ain't no. Uh, but I you know to, what? I, you a lot. A lot of them hoes. I ain't gonna call them hoes. A lot of them, they can still do shit, fool, and get away with it and be nothing you can do, dog. That's why you just gotta not have kids with women who you ain't gonna be with. Right. But do you know That's this, though? That's a good point. It's a good point, but they never finish to who they start male, to be, though. I've seen some say male uh, birth control coming soon. That's a smart investment, man. If you're a young man, I suggest you do not have no kids until you are married, if you are a right. young man. Until you are married, and that is like suspect too, because only fifty percent of marriages work. So I'm just saying, who told you fifty? That's the. Uh, she, you know, the I'm that, counting right? on my hand, and, and, and uh, <laughs> right. nigga, I got more divorces than divorce uh, stays together. Percent, you know what I'm saying? It's I done cold. seen them two things right there destroy damn near. I can so many of my people from yeah. the bottom to the top destroyed them and being successful. Because it becomes, you have to go get a regular job and settle for some shit you don't want to settle for because you got responsibilities now. You know what I'm saying? So that child support court, you've been in fuck around and got the tender dick, got a girl pregnant. Now she y'all done fell out and y'all enemies immediately. Immediately, life is drama. It's bad. Man. Every little situation is a is 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 a uh, is a big deal. Like y'all don't like each other, so y'all making shit hard on each other. I look kill at the dope. You know that type of shit. All right, I'm coming, kid. All right. All right. Yeah. So um, that type of shit there. That's I just seen that that right there. Child support. Having kids with women you ain't married to and that y'all ain't living, you know, with and motherfucking uh, divorce and, and divorces. Oh man, fuck it's not, niggas. It's not looking oh. good. I'm talking about everything. <clears throat> Real grown hustlers had it, the whole world in their hands. <laughs> had the whole world in their hands. That divorce court broke them for everything. You know what I'm saying? That child support had them locked up, huh. sit back, taking out a check. Couldn't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, oh, you know, slow your roll, man. Don't do it. Wait. But they do need to change them laws, though, man, because a but lot they of women ain't gonna change it. Because if they don't, if they don't do that and make the men responsible, they gonna have to pay that shit through welfare and all that. That's how they look. But at they it. should make the women get, you know, they need to step up too, though. Instead of them just getting all the check and the man paying the child support and all of that shit, and they just sitting back collecting them. But you know, it's a cycle. That's what. The, that's what the, bro, the the white man want us to do anyway. Stay on welfare. Moving on. Killer. Killer. What's up, kid? Yeah. yeah. Killer Calion in the motherfucking Rico, building. Rico. Killer up, made it. I nigga? said, I Rico, predicted Rico. 90 minutes. He made it in about 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he made it. <laughs> Killer on the connect. Um, Killer on the connect with Lester. We got everybody in here, man. We had J Dog last week. Week before last. Week before last. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's real. So yeah, we just did the little what? Child support talk. Yeah, oh, we did. man, I don't even want to talk. Well, you, well, you yeah, came in on the right time. time. Give man. us, give Sound us like your you opinion. Man. I did my motherfucking taxes, and them hoes took my shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Trying to hit me. All right. Trying to get my motherfucking bread, man. Them hoe ass niggas took my shit. But aha, uh -huh, 
I'm getting my shit back because I my shit was suspended, so they gotta give me my fucking money back, sir. Yeah, y'all, so, y'all young niggas hit exactly, that. That's what we about mean. Exactly what Some I of the drama and shit you go through, we was just sitting here, man, saying how unfair it is to the to the man in the courts, man. Oh, man, I'm I'm fighting this shit right now, bro. Like all this shit, I actually got a court date, March March the 23rd or 24th. From behind a bitch that dropped my daughter off at the goddamn police station. Dirty diaper, no food, no nothing behind $40. Dropped my daughter off, nigga. I had custody of my daughter all the way till she was one and damn near 10 months. And she just not got action. But I'm going to tell you something, bro. It's in a woman's favor no matter how the system go. It's designed straight for the bitch. I don't give a damn. The only way it ain't designed for a bitch is if she do something harmful to the child. And even if she do that, it's still in her favor because she the mother. Yeah. Yeah, they get that. They get the uh, upper hand for sure, for sure. The special treatment. Yeah, man. But I done been through child support nightmares. Yeah, I'm going through a nightmare yeah. with this shit now. You had to go to child support yeah. court for somebody you didn't even fuck. Yeah, man. <laughs> you, man. Yeah. you should take hug and take chick for that, shit, my nigga. Man. I got fixed. It made me get fixed. I'd have lined all my hoes up in court. Look, I had hoes from Dallas talking about, you got me pregnant? Bitch, I don't even know you. I <laughs> never even, you ugly as far the fuck out. I wouldn't do it. I had to go up there and take the DNA test to prove I, I wasn't. This the nigga fuck. damn near was finna beat a bitch up. Fats. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Lying. <laughs> Bitches be lying, man. They stay playing, man. Fucking uh, Beaumont. Remember that lady called about this shit? Yeah, she called me going. Oh, my that, God. Now, that's a funny story. And I'm going to tell that one, fool. The girl. <laughs> and that was she mis- mistaken him for another rapper. Exactly. Oh, the girl got yeah. me bothering the shit out of me for, man, for I don't know how long, a week or something. Steady fucking me about slum about this baby this. This baby that. Man, the girl I identified another Houston rapper and kept on saying it was she had Slim's name but the other rapper's face, man. That's called <laughs> Man. Crazy, man. Crazy, man. It was just, it was all at one time. Then my youngest son was coming too. Then this other chick from Houston talking about the, the kid was like 13 years old. Uh, you know, and, and um, that's uh, fucked up that they was lying to another nigga for 13 years. No, Bro. they put, no, she ain't, she wasn't lying. She was married or some shit. She got married and got ghosts. I haven't seen her in forever. And then she just popped up talking about, oh, we got a baby together. I'm like, I got that same. I had, how we man, got a baby together? Guy. Like, what that the shit, fuck? That shit happened to me. Two bitches. One bitch hit me with the hit me with the guy. I asked the bitch, did she get pregnant in the mouth? <laughs> just straight the fuck uh, up. Man. I don't know how the fuck you got pregnant, but I went up, went and did the blood test and shit. That shit was negative, ninety nine point nine negative. That mean wasn't a chance in hell. Then another bitch come out the woodworks. This was when we was on. <laughs> this is my black and barley coke days. Killer. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Rico and Slim give it give it to him about the black and barley no, coke day. day. Anytime <laughs> yeah, I did that, it was some extreme freaking going on. <laughs> That bitch, uh, every time uh, nigga, this nigga come uh, out the room with a black and bottle of coke, he did 18 months of head and knock me this guy, naked head warrior. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a, from Miami. It was on our Miami trip. Oh, man. man. That bitch turn around and say, shit, well, you know, you got a kid. I'm shit. I don't know how. It was another <laughs> one of them. I don't know how, bitch. That nigga Kelly got kids all around the world. All around right. the world. No, I ain't yes. got them all around the world. I got three, <laughs> three kids. You making sure they don't come back and get them taxes, son. Shit. Clean that up. Taxes. Uh, that bitch got a nice blessing. Well, Les, what you give us some of your rapper baby stories. You I got, got no baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the motherfucker, I'm too. Good time, yeah, man. You better keep it that way. Yeah. But now nah, yeah, the bitch ended up putting chick. the kid on another. The bitch put the kid on a nigga play, play for the Chargers. Now nah, that chick tried to get me. <laughs> Nigga, they had my motherfucking account froze, everything Shut behind the this fuck bitch. Up. I, I, had, I couldn't yeah. check it to a hotel in my name, nigga. But shit. it would took over a year, like two years to get this shit out. Nigga, this bitch had my shit fucked up. 
And it was because they said they served me at Club Drake at a club, nigga. I'm like, nigga, I ain't get served at no motherfucking club. They had 11.30 in the morning yeah, on 11 the Yeah, 11.30 in the morning <laughs> on the paper, they say they served me. So when the judge finally read that shit, it took damn near a year for them to do that. To so unfreeze all this. Just to read that That's shit. That's how I called the court just system. Just to read man. that shit and say, it's and fucked say up. hey, man. man. <laughs> well, on here it says you served him at 11.30 a.m. And then threw that out and gave me a blood test. It took a year and a half. Probably like 10000 in lawyer fees. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just to do this I'm to grant me a blood test. They gave me a blood test. I'm the up baby right mine. now on that lawyer fee shit. That shit ridiculous, that bro. Shit, for a bitch Stop. that don't even... For a bitch that don't even want her child. Like, this bitch don't even want her kid, bro. And oh, you got it. That's your little I girl. mean, we got joint custody, like, right now. And we still going through the case. But this bro don't even want her child, bro. She didn't want her. Took it to the man. Some shit out of a movie. End up the bitch did bitch was mad behind I wouldn't give her forty dollars. But prior to this, the apartments where she lived at, the maintenance man then came and then found my daughter and her son and now by themselves while while she went to the club. All this shit wow. had been reported, bro. Yeah. And they still gave this bitch action at having a kid though. I mean, you need to start fucking quality over quantity. Yeah. <laughs> you need a better grow. I'm going to tell you, everybody hey, say that too, you but you never out, know. You got to sneak out the hood clubs. Know. That's what it is. Stay out of the panel. I ain't for these pictures. I, I, I ain't for these pictures. Don't put it on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> I will say I this about my, my two sons, mamas, they good mamas. They, they uh, you know, got my sons good. They smart as my youngest ones. You know, my oldest stay with me. But, yeah, the other two, they they do a good-ass job with them. <clears throat> Only thing I don't like about child support is when the holidays come around, like Christmas. You're going to pay for child support, and then you still got to buy gifts for your kids because you don't want to show them anything. I don't mind that shit. I, I'm I 33 that. savage I right mean, now. I do it, but it's just crazy that they make you pay the child support and then you know you fit. I just don't that like shit. having kids Savage. out of that don't you know like I ain't, I want it to be a real family. I don't feel like I'm a real daddy because my kids yeah. don't live. What's with fucked you know up what is you gotta spend. They get them for Christmas. I don't even spend no time. Nah, with it's, it's time um, with my kids. You it's know, opposite. Like one one year you get them for Christmas, and the next year uh -huh. they can okay. Get I don't know nothing about that. You're right. And what if she don't give them on Christmas? What you do? If she don't um, keep them on Christmas, then she don't. See, that's what I got. I got the possession shit going on the way it's three days on, four days off, and we, we convert and switch that shit. But honestly, bro, I I start getting in the savage mode to where if they put me back on unsuspended, I'm going to be real. Just I see why niggas act like they act, and I see why some bros act like that. If they re-supervise me and re try to give me the child support, bitch, that's all you getting. I ain't going to lie, that's it. Because yeah. you deal with some females where you got to do them like that, like, you can't even do that. You can't even really be a father, bro. Like when I, man, like recently, my child's birthday was just one fifteen fifteen. She was, uh, she was on January fifteen. Nigga, we spun damn near four grand on the birthday party. That bitch wouldn't even let me get my daughter. Everybody was at the party, gifts, cake, carnival setting, everything. Nigga, I couldn't even get my child. So right then and that made me like fuck this shit. You want your child? You can have your child, but and and if they give you really put me back on un, un, unsuspend the child support, this is all you getting, and you ain't gonna get nothing more than that because I'm already doing beyond that. The little three hundred dollars a month, girl? she two now, uh -huh. but all the all the money that I spend, nigga, weekly, and just it, it, it don't even amount up to the child support. They they sell they sell <laughs> short for some crumbs. You getting a whole loaf of bread, but you a settle for the crumbs. Just to be in it. Man, that's what you that's, can't that's just, You got to go through the system for them and just pay them what they going to But even because. after that, though, if you give her what you give her, say you give her three, four hundred a month and she fucking it off, the baby still suffer. You still, still suffer. So if you stop, the baby still Nah, go you got to really? pay them people, man, what they and do it the right way. And whatever extra, nah, that's what I do. Extra. It be the right. It, it was the right way. If you way. do that, then you don't have to do nothing after that. Yeah. You don't have to do shit outside of that. Now, whatever you want to do outside of that is on you. But as long as you taking care of what you have to pay, yeah. Shit. But naturally, you know, man, just being a fuck all that. No, the nigga, gotta, family foundation so strong that where they ain't gonna go without no way. Even though it's the child support shit, I was gonna get in savage mode. But I ain't finna let my child suffer like that. If the yeah, bitch wanna be ignorant, uh, the bitch can be ignorant. I'ma still, cause one thing about it, God gonna still bless me for being a man. It's, right. it's said in the Bible, bro, you're an infidel. You don't take care of your goddamn child. Right you know That's what I'm saying? That's why I go so, back to, you know, 
You don't have to kill a cow, y'all. Don't have to kill a cow. You don't have to kill a cow. Now that's real shit, though, because a lot of niggas don't take care of their kids, man. I mean, and it's niggas be built behind the bitch, and it and, and yeah. niggas be still yeah. wanting the bitch, so they make the child suffer. You know, right. it's All a lot the time, of grown That's the only person that suffer. Straight up, OG, and it's like a lot of a lot of niggas. Like I come out of family, man. Well, my family huge. And so I had to watch, man. I had a cousin, me and them like brothers. You know what I'm saying? This man ain't, ain't know his dad. Daddy locked up, end up going to prison, get out. The nigga say, you know what? I'm going to be the bigger man, and I'm going to try to contact him. Nigga, daddy shitting on him. Yeah. He steady tried, then turned around. His dad on his deathbed with counsel. He want to try to meet him. He said, fuck him. Fuck you, nigga. On your deathbed, bitch, die. When I tried to fuck with you, it's crazy how you want to have this premonition with God now. Now that I'm on Try my deathbed right. and you want to get right, right now, you're dying. Now, nah, nigga, fuck you. You're dead to me now because when I try. And, and it's like niggas be suffering because niggas be building behind the bitch or the bitch be, yeah. be right. building behind the nigga. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, it'd be that. That's what but I'm you got to take care of your kid. You got to stay in your kid life. Got to because it ain't yeah. the kid's fault. And the kid need a mama and a dad. <clears throat> so by you keeping them from each other, that's only fucking them up. Man, I'm gonna tell you though, being in the in the in the business that we in, man, it's it's so crazy because the perception of this shit got it to where it's so fucked up in court. Now they perceive shit to be more than what it is. And I ain't gonna lie, this everybody rich shit and rap fucking it up for everybody, even on that level. What you mean? What you mean? Man, Speak shit, when it. you in court, they pull up all this shit on Google. Yeah. Believe that or not, it's nigga, that you social media. The, DA, all that the DA pulling all that shit up. On your motherfucking ass, the attorney general pulling all that shit when up. When you in court for oh, anything. Oh, oh, you for you anything. <laughs> <laughs> when you in court for <laughs> anything. You, you the boss, ain't you? They gonna pull that shit up and then I tell a lot of niggas. Can, you know what I'm saying? You got a million saying? views? Oh, okay. That's a million dollars, right? Straight Thanks up. So much. Yeah. A million people looking at the Flash that money, do all that, man. They gonna have motherfucking screenshots and everything. You wanna flex? All right, motherfucker, flex while you in there. Yeah. This, when this gavel drop, that flex and go, you, and you gonna feel that flex as soon as that gavel drop on your bitch ass. They gonna get them to counting up all me. them hundreds. That's, you that's got diamonds this in your teeth or some Ooh. shit like that. I said, man, I'll take this girl out and give it to her. Get it, Mr. Grit. Yeah, this shit. That's yeah. fucked up though. It yeah. shouldn't go by. It really shouldn't go by. I mean, it should be a cap, fool. Man, it be motherfuckers paying out here ten, twenty thousand dollars a month for that. Don't make no fucking sense, dog. Now, nah, but motherfucker, the baby don't see that. What the hell, no? Yeah. Now I can oh. see if they was together, childhood. Then they've been together twenty years. You know what I'm saying? And then you split up. Okay, yeah, you got to pay the alimony. But, I don't think a bitch need fifteen or two thousand dollars a month. But I'm, I'm just see. saying, if you bitch, you just met this whole two years ago and. No, you you don't owe that hoe no ten twenty thousand a month. Max is five thousand, my nigga. That's I can a see lot of money. It's it too much money. That's still. a lot of money. No, but I'm saying if you're a hundred million dollar nigga, I'm talking about your Lebrons, yeah. your Kobe's, and all. You know what I'm saying? Bro, niggas with with no, like that. No bitch in life Hell nah, them need no man. I ain't gonna say it should be a cap. Ain't no bitch in life need to get get all that money, bro. Man. My thing, I just feel like it really should be. Where the kid, it need to be something where the kid naturally go. They need to set some shit up to where this shit only for what it is with the kid. <laughs> the kid got you know it. They, they been giving it to them on these um on these little debit cards now. So they able to check what the women pay for. But a lot of them, sometimes they don't be want to uh, take Hell the no, card. I ain't doing none of that shit. Try, now, a lot of them been taking it though. No bitch finna take that. Look at what Future, boy, Future got to be the, the one rapper I know coming off of Dagwood. What are you paying? What? That bitch Sierra getting that 20 you talking about a month. Well, we, we got to be fake. We fucked up. We going to kick it to you. We had an right. intermission killer. It kind of no, stopped. Bitch. We fucked up. Man, we it's, back, y'all. It's, it's, it's I'm, the I'm connect. You, it's the connect. We, we still here. Connected. It's what, I, what, what, what we left off at pretty much is like how perception has fucked up everything in society today. Everything is not what it perceives to be. And for the slow people out there, perception meaning visual everything that looks like it is is really not what it is man we really on fantasy island man with the midget right now man Damn, and it's in life with the in, in real life. life and because i'm gonna say this bro motherfuckers is even being misled when real is not even real bro reality not even real no more no, the shit is scripted yeah. and then it goes even I so the reality it's show a soap opera. scripted, it's it's a scripted. Yeah. they tell you reality so that within itself bro 
is fucked up. It's a perception. When, when reality, perception again. And it's like when you look at the ground, bro, you are really in character. And it's like I had to go in and reiterate my shit to where I'm saying, that I got to watch out how I'm perceiving myself to be on here. Like, this is Killer Kylie on page. This is not Kyle page. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I got to look at it. And I, I ain't going to lie. Y'all my partners. And, and I actually look at y'all shit. And one thing I can say, I love Les Page because Les don't give you nothing but less. And he ain't going to give you too much because if a nigga not buying or selling, that's <laughs> all you that's need to give a nigga. No it don't even no, no personal, no personal shit. And I said, you know what I'm finna do? Fuck these politics. Yeah. Fuck all this other shit. Bitch, I rap. So I'm finna just rap, rap. on this yeah, motherfucker. And, and the thing about that meaning, because when you give a motherfucker so much, and I'm not trying to do what we know him to do hog, I'm just, I really want to get this point across. Like, when you give a motherfucker too much, they think they know oh, you. Yeah. And on now, and just like I told my partner, when you in your feelings, you went to commercial break. And right then, when you go to commercial break on that motherfucker, you really fucking your bag off. You giving mm -hmm. light to some shit. That don't even deserve it. Like I told my own girl, bitch, you digging up, you digging a grave. You digging up a dead body trying to play Dr. Vincent Frankenstein, bitch. You giving the dead life. When you sitting there talking about another bitch or another nigga on your page, and then you gotta think sometimes we get our nerve gets struck on the comments. Man, we don't know these fucking weirdos on here. To even right. be talking to these niggas. To even understand to uh, yeah, meet me or this and me. Man, motherfuckers don't know. It's so bad to where they really gauge your life on this shit now. And it's not what it proceeded to be. They feel like everybody rich. And it's to the point, you really believe everybody on a private jet. You really believe everybody mm -hmm. hopping in this rave. Man. You really believe niggas is going to Aviani and Emmy and them spending two and three million dollars. Speak. <laughs> Speak. Like, you really believe niggas is doing yeah. this, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. The only group, it's only one nigga I can humanly say it. it ain't me being on my partner dig no homo. I only seen one rap nigga really do everything he didn't he didn't say. And I gotta get that to my dog. I done been watching I tell niggas all the time in his defense. I've been watching this nigga since 18 do the shit that y'all talking about, bro. Yeah. And, and really got it out the fucking mud, bro. And they really did shit that niggas be saying to well when we've been around niggas and when we all was together as a collective, bro, that shit wasn't fair how we would come in buildings looking. Yeah. Everybody got on fifty thousand dollar watches, nah, on a cool, hundred thousand dollar worth of chain. We brought a lot of money to the city. I always say that shit too, man. We brought we made them motherfucking jewelers famous. Mike Jones was really one of the motherfuckers who brought so Bro, Chico just shit. went and redid this man right. chain. It's the and same then, chain yeah. too. Oh yeah, I just a seen bad it. motherfucker. Seen but that. the thing yeah. is, bro, you know I introduced and Jones will tell you that yeah. I'm the nigga that took him to Johnny. Yeah. And if I tell you what I physically watched this nigga spin to what I know niggas is not spending that now. And I've got that. It ain't on no messy shit. Just niggas being real. Just telling me, bro. Like, we promoting these niggas like TV. These niggas really be giving these niggas a lot of this shit. Niggas be just wearing this shit. Look at motherfucking Sean Kingston. <laughs> Look at Tiger. It ain't no BB jumping in them niggas mix, but shit. The jewelers is exposing niggas. Bro, you got a tab with me, bro. <laughs> That's just that is sad. Yeah. Quick, you yeah. got a tab. This just being real, bro. The jewels like, is exposed. The exposed. Connect, man. bro. We just being real. It ain't no talking down, and it's no disrespect to nobody. I'm just saying, bro. We naturally they gave us. I was the just top in the jury store, and I heard the jury man say, "Say that what they what they <laughs> give us for them boss all chains? Niggas got tabs, yeah. top man. twenty or some chains yeah, in yeah, hip hop yeah, history." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, do you? I ain't even tell niggas how much we spun for that shit. To where I know niggas' budgets. There were five chains on that bitch. You had three of the five. So I'm sitting, there, nigga. That was niggas' whole budget. That shit crazy though, man. Everything is. It's like even with cars, niggas be you know renting this is like. You know, and doing all that. You don't know who so. rich. It be, yeah, yeah, it be niggas. I, I ain't gonna even bullshit you, bro. In LA, it was niggas. I know. 2014, the up, nigga. Like, 2014, 2015. I'll rent that shit. I don't give a fuck what a nigga say. <laughs> I'm not finna go give you bitches all my motherfucking money, cause if I'm in it, you gonna think it's mine anyway. <laughs> so when I just want to ride roar for about a week or two, I'm a ride roar. I want to ride Guinea, and I'm just being real. I ain't finna sit up here and tell a nigga, nigga, I'm not finna go spend that. 
whole natural bag on that shit. I'm just like saying, that. like rappers be on them whole on TV, like you know. It's mine. Yeah. Yeah. No, it ain't, it ain't mine. That's Rory, that's yeah. Jim. Nigga be having rates and, like they got them. And how you buy them them jewelers? They didn't spend three hundred, four hundred. But with back to jewelers. really, the really the point I'm making when I say that is, you got motherfuckers fooled, bro. Like they got kids out here, and I'm gonna tell you how it's fucking up the hood, bro. Cause everybody wanna shine. Everybody wanna skip the struggle, bro. Me and this nigga have said this a hundred times. Niggas want to skip the struggle, bro. It's no way you can do it. It's like skipping puberty, bro. You can't do it. You got to go through the mud, bro. Man, it take it take mud to grow grass, bro. And I tell niggas this all the time. And it take rain to grow the grass in the mud. Shit start off as mud. The seed get planted and turned into grass, bro. That's the natural law of, of life, bro. It's a process, bro. You, you can't, can't skip, skip the struggle. The progress. Then when right. these niggas go raw. Nigga, you go do 20, 30 years, you ain't got no bun money. You ain't think about when it go bad. You out there killing a nigga to look like Rick Ross and me. You it's taking fake. another nigga shit, man. It's, it just lost a couple of little young niggas from the hood. Man. Y'all trying to skip the struggle, bro. It's cool. It ain't even cool to work no more. If niggas know you got a job, you consider yeah, yeah, lame now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bitches will say you a lame nigga for punching a clock. That shit crazy. That's crazy. And the bitch for giving some money. But and it, the bitch don't even have a job. For giving some money. And that's what got a lot of the young niggas yeah. fucked up. Because yeah. they don't, because it, it may seem though. not cool. That's the yeah, perception. That's Man, it's fuck. Back to the word again. It's yeah. perception. And it's like now, why that word is a key word? Because you can look like money. And generate fucking money just looking like yeah, it. Yeah. In this yeah. day and age now, the shit that we we sitting there grinding hard because we just liked it. This shit we liked it, big jury. We liked nice cars. We liked it all this shit. To what now? We liked it for us, but now it's pulling in the money. Yeah. Like and it's like not everybody want a diamond chain, bro. You niggas is not going and spending no thirty, bro. <laughs> on one of them hoes, nigga. That's a thirty. That's a thirty rack, man. All right. Man, and niggas well, be having five and but, ten on them. But, but that's for the right one, though. Yeah. You know the difference. You really, about man, not about, about that. Clarity and all that. that, that that's what I'm just saying. Perception, though, bro. Right. It's niggas like niggas killing just, niggas. Niggas don't need to just be spending their last. Though. That's my whole thing. Don't like, spend your last. The whole man. thing is you gotta have an income, man. Income is necessary. Figure out your income first. Residual man, income. Man. Get you some money coming in. Then it's understandable if you want to buy shit. I be like looking that. at some of them niggas shit. They don't be spending no thirty on no one diamond chain. You get I'm close to saying. that motherfucker, it'd be a ten. That's why the little shit. That's why them niggas make the little shit. Eight thousand dollars a piece. Or All them little bitty joints where niggas be having about yeah. ten chains on them little bitty motherfuckers. I know. Yeah. It's like shit. That's niggas, crazy. All these niggas, these Cubans. Like I know everybody can't afford a Cuban. Yeah, nah, nigga. You, know you ain't even got the gold worth more than diamonds. Have bro. a Cuban yeah. around your neck, bro. Gold, gold worth more than diamonds, man. Gold is seventeen hundred dollars an ounce my nigga that's more than the price of diamonds gold solid pure gold worth more than diamonds and then the gold that the jewelers selling niggas is mixed with nickel some of that shit be marson the diamonds be marsonized lab grown that shit gonna test like a real perception baby it's all the way down perception <laughs> baby it's here it's here perception baby it got us fooled <laughs> like social media podcast perception like bro perception, everything baby. looking like it ain't man real when real ain't even reality no more bro to where them, them niggas let future say hey man I faked it till I make it I ain't the real nigga in me won't allow me to tell a nigga that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell I can't I can't do it Thing, I say fuck that jury, man. Get you some income, man. Yeah. Fuck them hoes. If you can afford get it, some income. get then it. Then after you get some income, yeah, sure. then it's cool. But when you go in there home right. and go broke for that jury. You don't go get a $20,000 check and go buy that. a $12,000 chain. You know oh, what I'm saying? Do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. I'm going to tell you, bro. I'll I'll it it I got the same jury. Nigga. For damn near for the past ten years, that looked like I just bought it yesterday. Get that income going, man. Then you can do all that shit and let your. When you buy the right shit, buy the right shit. You buy the right shit. Buy the right shit. You good. Take your time. You made a hell of a point when you buy the right shit. shit. Don't be going for the fad, jury. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to say I seen some of y'all niggas rock the same piece. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. That's what I'm saying. They're telling the nigga shit. They're locking up. 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 They just trying to play that role, dog. It's entertaining, man. You <laughs> <laughs> gotta hit the wheel. God damn, this nigga still going nope, shit. Nope, dog. He gonna sit in the basement. I'm telling you, man. Right, nigga just man. playing the role, it, man. Niggas are invest in the chain for they go get them a publicist. You like a motherfucker. Right. Like, nigga, the right. purpose is cost $2,500 a month. A month. 3000 for the good. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It we ain't. We ain't. Like seven I ain't. Look, but, you, but look, you came up in a different era. I got to do shit like that. No, me too. You know what I mean? Like, how, how, how do they help you tell I'm me? I'm going to tell you. I don't understand how publicists are. You got to know. You want a TV show on Vice? If you get the right publicist, guess yeah, what? Yeah. He'll walk you right in. He'll, He'll walk you in that bitch. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. If somebody can say, they hey, man, I can do this, bro. I can do that thing. That's what it is. I'm going to tell you what the publicist yeah, is. You money. Really? Yeah. You don't hear. I'm going to give you a, the, the perfect example. Let, let's let let's speak on Nipsey, our partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga ain't really got no manager. Karen nah. Civil is that nigga publicist. So that nigga, man, it's just like in the streets. You ain't need no manager in the streets. You you know your money. Yeah. All the manager basically do is secure your secure the bag when you hit the building. What the publicist do, he secure the bag everywhere around the building yeah. to where these TV shows, these sneaker deals, these every major blog, every major publication, every event. You red carpet at every event with all the major people, all the major TV channels. All the all the people that can't get to you for his merchandising yeah. and everything, where he make you a rapper, he he your publicist is your brander. It just pretty much he brands you. And I would rather spend three thousand a month than three thousand a beat. I'ma just be yeah. all the way honest yeah. with you. Yeah. I don't even need a Pharrell beat. Shout out for real. I don't need a Pharrell beat. Give me this nigga off SoundCloud. Get him two or three hundred. Let me go take this two or three thousand for a bitch that's gonna bring me three or four hundred thousand a yeah. month. Cause they gonna make sure everybody see what you doing. That's an even swap, everybody. though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's like the it's best. Bring All right, she yeah, bring I'm it to me. I kind of feel nah, like nah, nah, we've been having meetings every week. I feel week like this nigga. You know, I ain't know that till you I've been taking these trips and I'm sitting down with these people, the booking agents and all that what shit. What type of shit? Like, though? see some shit on the cool. I don't even want to do. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it's I really have a publicist who I could pay for what they bring. If I knew See a nigga like, like you, you need you a cap. It'll be nah, it'll be yeah, very yeah. lucrative for you to have a can silver. Yeah, you they gonna oh, yeah. you, you mean, do an if, easy sell. Like if I can see some like, money coming out of the shit. That's what it's gonna do. That's if what I can get some money coming through it. I, I'm cool with paying it if I'm making money. No, I just don't understand. Then how. the thing is finding a good public. That's the thing is that don't pay nobody from. Not from here. From here at all. One, ain't a no motherfucker like, from, you have to be from an network. industry city. You, know you like, got to have somebody from yeah. either New York or LA, LA period. 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 And period. make sure they working with other motherfuckers, see what they doing with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, like the booking age. That's another thing. Like, nigga, like me coming up, y'all was able to, like, when y'all came up, it's like, you get booked, you do the club show, you get popping on the radio, whatever, whatever. Now, nah, nigga, like, you know, you come up, on the internet, whatever, whatever. Like I had to sit in the meeting, the motherfucker looked at my shit. They were like, "Well, you only got like almost eighty thousand followers, but you get a lot of likes." You know what I'm saying? They looking at me, but such and such got two hundred thousand. But then we pull out the empire numbers, sitting them on the table. They're like, "What they doing with that?" And then they, they eyes light up. Yeah. They're like, "This is how much I sold. This is how much I streamed." Motherfuckers, they'll look at that shit, and then you know they'll get what you. What you just booked. said? They'll do what? Nah, they gonna book. They, they gonna, gonna do what? Nah, they gonna look. Right? They gonna look. Once Perception, they see you baby. That's all yeah. I'm trying but to yeah, tell yeah, yeah. you. But now, once <laughs> they see you really doing something like a booking agent, like y'all was able to come up and get the club show. It's different now. Niggas be out here on. They don't know what's real or what ain't. You got a nigga with three hundred thousand followers holding choppers every picture, making it look like he popping. You got a cool nigga like me chilling. 
you don't really know what I got going on. But you get these booking agents that see what's really going on. And they it's put, They put you on tour with maybe a nigga in your lane, a little bigger yeah. than you. Yeah. And they going to do that for G-R-A. you two times a year. The next year, they go out on your first tour. Yeah. And, you know, next thing you and know. And the beauty of that and what that booking agent yeah. do to even back up what you saying, Liz, them empire numbers. Yeah. Whatever them numbers is generating from, say, for instance, you look in Arizona, you sold two or 3,000 units in Arizona. Out there we going show. to write where them yeah. numbers at. And we finna put you where them numbers at to generate that whole that whole market. Like, bro, I tell just like they say, bro, the world the ghetto. You don't need a label no more. You, you don't need, need a, that. A booking agent and a, and and a, a publisher. publisher. And his own. And you are the label. Like it's like a nigga like you, like Slim. Right now it's game over. You you two, three million motherfucking right. year, you publishers of that booking agent. It's on. Yeah, that's what I need then. I swear to God. They, they even told me at the, at the agency, they're like, man, ain't no niggas from Houston ever been on tour yet. Never, right? And, and the that's reason being because nobody came out here and told niggas or it told them like how this shit worked. They just sitting there thinking niggas supposed to wake up and route a tour. That's not how it go. Yeah, like, you nah. know what I'm saying? Like they got people in place to do this shit for you. But you know, yeah, we need to help it up. To speak on that though, we the connect. Mm-hmm. We trying to bring a lot of stuff to Houston, to Texas. Definitely, we got the connect website. Right on. The Connect Music. The Connect Music.com. Yes, sir. Well, that's just, and we you know. we trying to turn some things around and bring it to Texas. Well, we man. Gotta that's do. what we got to do. Gotta work, bring them people out here. You know, they, they got to have a little bit more guidance out here on what we, to do. Cause, we got to show the talent out here yeah. what to do, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of unheard, unseen folks that don't go nowhere. Definitely. That need to be spread to the world. Yeah. That's like what Lil Jay was doing with niggas back in the gap. That's what he did. Them niggas didn't know what they was doing. He scooped them up, gave them the motherfucking machine, platinum. Niggas was going platinum. Like, you know we what we like got the shit. platform to do that right I here. I believe that shit's still p- possible, man, bro. Man, niggas love everything niggas do. I hear niggas was talking about him every five minutes when I was in fucking yeah. LA. Nigga, like, it's like niggas yeah. respect and, and, and admire everybody from everything the South is took, Texas, period. Like, every, you know. Everything is took from here and blew yeah. up somewhere. Not else, only that, man. bro, we have to. You got. I don't think niggas understand. You have to work ten times harder. We don't have an industry here, and the fact that we able to generate lucrative money out here with art publicists, with art booking agents, that shit is that that shit is wowing to well, them. Yeah, that's right? a blessing because we got yeah. a good support system with these fans. I have. They, they, these people really do like you know spend their money. You know what I'm saying? Support niggas out here. You get to see niggas. It's like the bait. Like, you see niggas like E-40 still eating. Two shots eating still good. eating. You got niggas like I down here. Slim still eating. Paul still eating. Niggas still getting booked. Niggas still selling records. Like, that ain't like that everywhere. I ain't even think in Atlanta. Once niggas get old, they off them. It's, it's you know all, what I'm the saying? thing is, but the bait and us, that's why we've been yeah. so connected for years. The bait and Houston is damn near one within itself. It's it's mm-hmm. exactly alike as far as they in far as they in independent industry as well, you got to think. P. Nah, yeah, P. P. For, well, he was repping Valet. I mean, he was repping <gasps> Richmond, Richmond on his first album. On his first album. <laughs> Niggas you know were confused and they were like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That nigga went out there and got that bad, but guess who gave him the platform on independency? Jay. Jay, 40, all the niggas gave him that shit. Jay, right. Jay, gave, them niggas, Jay gave them niggas all a platform for independence. Mm-hmm. They the support cash the ground, huh? Jay. Jay gave them niggas a platform for independence. I remember shit. They coming over there to the to the Alpine yeah. and seeing young niggas getting it in and like, damn, we want it now, nigga. We trying to be like y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, nigga? It's just it's it's here to have an industry here. It's just no structure, and if you don't have no structure, it's chaos. Exactly. <clears throat> ain't no structure out here. With it's the, no uh, structure, and it ain't nothing to cry about. Fuck crying. Nah, you just gotta fix just it. Fix it. And it's fix time it to out. fix it yeah, right it. now. Cause nigga don't wanna leave Houston. Shit, you know it's cost of living out here. Gucci man. Yeah. Nigga ain't trying to live in LA. You know what I'm saying? That no, shit everybody moving in Houston. We just yeah, gotta yeah. build a motherfucking. Um, you know the platform for all that shit. I really like what you guys doing too. Far as with the with the sports guys, is is like how you how how you bring them with the Rockets and shit, bro. Like that shit is a beautiful look because everywhere else, guys is doing that. You mm-hmm. see, like the New Yorkers kicking it with the New Yorkers and the NBA branding. That's the next thing we got to figure out how to get that check that way. Yeah. Because, you know, mm-hmm. sports and music go hand yeah, in hand. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's so many checks that goes back to what you were saying, Liz, with the publicists. 
the right motherfucker gonna put that whole play together. Exactly. They gonna put that whole play together, yeah. man. They know they check, especially with the puzzle, they check rely. You know, they they relying on the moves they make. So they definitely gonna make sure niggas is taken care of. Who's some good publicists? Man, she man, they got moves. agencies out there. Yeah. It, it's like a whole building working for you when you go out there. It ain't just one nigga. Like did the shit with like I C M and all of them. It's like a whole. It's like it's like when you go watch Entourage and them niggas go to Ari Gold office. And they got a million agents on agents the floor. Just in there. And they got the big head agent. And all, all these people do different you. things. So the Denzel signed the ICM. There's a bunch of motherfuckers, big movie stars over there, and they have that section. They ain't worried about no niggas like me. <laughs> but they got a little section for niggas for like, you. you know, like yeah. they got niggas who get niggas on tours and put them, you know, get the music shit cracking. They ain't missing no money. That's why they got big, nice offices, because they doing everything from the little shit to the motherfucking top dollar shit. So, you know, that's all we need out here. Straight up. That's some OG. Hustlers. That's some. You can tap in. Yeah. That's untapped water out yeah. here. For the you connect. know what I'm saying? That's untapped water because that that's the plug. You feel me? Well, like, that's the right. motherfucker that's. Bro, we connected to everything. That publishes, man, is the glue to the situation. Because that, that's what's going to get you popping everywhere outside your region. Even to overseas, man. Think about it, bro. How many overseas shows? Besides the Tokyo shit you done done. And you know how many motherfuckers that I see connect with me just off of social media? I shit 20 CDs in Japan today. Like, Come on. You know what I'm saying? For the they second time me. this month. Like, that's you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, that, that lets you know, like, motherfuckers, like, out there. That's me, my nigga. I'm like, to this nigga or anybody, I'm still like, down nah, here, bro. nigga, still like, you, nigga, like Slim probably position. supposed to be doing shit in Berlin, nah, nigga. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? Like, that, you know, everybody in the room, room, they fuck with it, bro. Yeah. You, you ain't you. We could go on tour. Exactly. Cause I'm just saying, like everybody, right. just yeah. with the right, the right motherfuckers, just gotta be involved. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 I just feel know. like if one motherfucker, just like one person in Japan, nigga, that's the other side of the world. You gotta think, we in the United States, and believe it or not, bro. It's, it's 50 states. It's over a thousand cities in each state, bro. Just just say collectively. And you all you got to find is one nigga in each one of them cities to get you a bankroll. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's all you really got to do, man. It, ain't, it just like the streets. You ain't got no out of town. You ain't popping. <laughs> Speaking of out of the country, I got a whole, a nigga got my whole look <clears throat> named Thugger. Look at this fool. Look at my tattoo right here. He got this tattoo right here. You see that? The Virgin Mary. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, that's crazy. He got the, he got the Virgin Houston Mary. Tattoo Let me see. Head. You see it? On his arm. Hold up. That's the Virgin Mary. go to the side. Look, that's Houston. He copied the Houston tattoo with Rob or whatever it is. Look on Hold up, chest. this nigga got all your tattoos. got tattoo. all my tattoos. <laughs> Let me see. That's, 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 I mean, that's, that's, that's you know the info. Info. Nah, that's a real fan, you know? though. Yeah, that's cr Nah, but he a whole rapper and everything. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> he said he the you over there. No, it's a whole nother one. Got the big ass H tatted on his back with hog life and everything. Like I seen uh, that. Yeah, fan. They real. know. Yeah, that shit. That's over. one they thing, bro. You check me. That I, can I was in Trinidad and called him one time. The cat didn't even know. He was just the waiter at the table, man. I oh, asked him, him. I asked him who he liked, man. He like, man, you listening, man? I'm like, yeah. He like, I'm like, who you like? The man didn't know I was from Houston or nowhere. He said, Slim Thug. That's like my favorite rapper, man. Come on, bro. I called Slim and put him on the phone. My nigga, yeah. with some this is not even your own. I that's order, him. Order a CD from out of the out of the country. Or that's that same sure I nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give him free shit. I give him free shit. Yeah, you got it. A you. nigga ordered American King and he was in Germany or something. Yeah. I gave that nigga hustler of the year all oh, like that value one. Yeah, I found him. Lift your arm, bro. This nigga got it identical, bro. Yeah, nah, he got all my shit. Perception. Perception, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga you probably you might see them tattoos and think it's slow. You gon' listen to the music, my nigga. His name's Thug. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that girl, that girl, um, the, the, the Catch Me Outside, how about that got she your got name? She got my name, too. And Catch You Outside, if you want to, you better not say nothing about it. She known to go off on the Nigga, what she say about Kylie? Know, she only only famous cause her sister fuck Ray J. <laughs> <laughs> she no talent. I'm gonna be real, bro. I got a shout out, they mama. 
for they find their mama is a treacherous man. man. Chris man, I just said Kardashian that somebody is, is the baddest bitch on the planet with flipping that shit and turning that shit into money, man. They whole relationship, that bitch went and got black China the bag. That's the publicist we need. Yeah, you need a motherfucker Chris like Jeff her. Thug. She the best management publicist known to man, man. You know how much the bitch, the bitch Kylie worth a 80 right now. Mm. A 80. And y'all. And they hate on Kylie. Kylie worth a 80. Yeah, Kylie worth a 80. Kylie worth a 80. Yeah, 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 Kylie Mm-hmm. We just gotta just change the demographic of this shit out here. It's gonna get back to it, but it, it also I think a lot of the problem musically, and people don't like to even say that a rapper would never shit without the DJ. Every time you identify a rapper coming up in the game, the DJ. I tell a lot of niggas now, look at Houston demographic. Name me two niggas that was pivotal in hip hop in the streets. Right now, DJ. S- Screw and Watts. Mm-hmm. After them niggas pulled out of the street, Screw died, Watts pulled out. It has been nothing like that. So I tell niggas every day, who gonna be the next Watts? Niggas so focused on trying to be Kelly. Kelly yeah. don't, that type of shit don't work out here. The streets need to be informed on what the fuck is popping. That's why niggas out here really not popping because them niggas created a platform to get niggas popping. Everybody want to be so executive to where niggas ain't even thinking about the streets. Everything is cultivated in the streets first in hip-hop. It come from the streets. That's skipping that pro- you skip, process. You skipping the struggle. <laughs> but then they get mad at niggas. And, and, I, and you can't be mad at the radio DJs because radio DJs been what they is. You got niggas that upstream and they going there. And shout out to one of the homies, Rogers. Niggas be trying to talk down. Bro did what he did and he got to it how he got to it. But who gonna be the next him? He actually a nigga that went from here to here. Man, I did my whole fucking mixtape with this man in his dorm, bro, for three days. That nigga went from that to now he on the radio. I salute that nigga on his whole path. On how he went. A lot of niggas I is is getting on in Instagram and shit that made niggas to where they popular yeah, mm-hmm. to where now niggas really think they bigger than niggas mm-hmm. like him. That's why they kill themselves yeah, yeah, before they get big. Always getting on too. Like he would put some, some hits out there and producers and everything. Yeah. So, so that, you know what I'm that saying? That's exactly what you said. That perception right there kill niggas when they get what That's they That's what I'm going. saying. Perception niggas don't because know. Because they think they bigger than they are. Niggas just think a hundred thousand uh, niggas think a hundred likes a hundred thousand dollars. Niggas yeah. don't know till they put that album out for sale. Then they yeah. gonna be like, oh they don't fuck with me like I thought they did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like okay nigga sit your ass down. And it's no, not it's not it. Book, it's book, it's do yeah. a damn concert or something don't yeah. nobody show do a up. show and ain't nobody there my nigga. Yeah, like yeah. not because you did it at the club and everybody was there already. Do a yeah. show my nigga. Yeah. 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 Like, if you get the small room get, yeah. warehouse you know what you're feeling you know what they yeah. you know the stem thing, back to? You can't even let that crush you though. No. You can't let it crush you. You got to keep going. You got to keep grinding. You got to figure it out man. Look. Cause I was at my show when there was 50 niggas there. I was at a ghetto yeah, boy know. show and it was twenty six people hey, in there. Bro. Ghetto boy show. Ghetto boy. In the eighties, I was there at a ghetto boy show. I even right. seen niggas like Kendrick do shows in front of a hundred people. We was down. Yeah, like not not school boy yeah. Q opening up for the nigga. Like nobody gave not a this shit. Nigga, not this yeah. nigga get two hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. I remember when he was coming to So you gotta keep yeah, on going. Yeah, you yeah, gave this nigga go. a ride. I gave me and Dave Stunts gave this nigga a ride to they next goddamn show. When they was nobody. You know what I'm saying? So the grind pay off. The grind but you know, pay. They in a can't different, stop. They, they in a different area, but they maximize the grind. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of niggas scared to go out there in front of them 50. You got to treat that 50 like 50,000. You got to hey. treat it like 50,000. Yeah, yeah, you know, keep I remember better. me and this nigga went to goddamn, I want to say Birmingham, nigga. At a stadium. We was at an arena. Nigga, it was six niggas in the crowd, nigga, in the mm-hmm. arena. They told Slim, you, you still want me to rap? 
And the nigga say, Slim say, shit, yeah, you, nigga, we for killing, we for gonna rap. These niggas paid me. We for get the fuck out of here and rap. <laughs> we rap for six niggas, nigga, did damn near a whole show. Yeah, yeah. Paid them to do, right? For six yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah, Y'all yeah. remember that shit, bro? Hell nah, but I know I'm going to do that show if they give me yeah. that. <laughs> nigga, it was six niggas. Nigga, we was in the arena damn near like the NRG, nigga. In the yeah. arena. It was six motherfuckers in the crowd just right there. Six. Can't skip it. So, you, you know what I'm play, saying? You got to play. Can't skip it. You got to do all, all right. them shows. Man. You got to do them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get sued. Fuck that. <laughs> and you can't even let that kill your spirit. I, I was in the crowd and I was one of them six that paid. I down nigga, come on up out of this nigga. You don't know. He can I be one motherfucker in that crowd. Yeah. It can be a motherfucker. One of them six can be worth six to six hundred million. And they probably fuck around, spend with y'all, be able oh, to get fuck you. around, spread, spread that word. Yeah, yeah nigga, right. I'm, I'm six niggas. Spread that money. word. Spread that word to spread six million. Spread that word. Million, That's why you can't you stop. Think about it, man. A nigga started off from a mixtape rapping in the closet, bro. Like Niggas started out rapping in closets. That's how I look at it. You talking about them boss hog all day? I'm talking about you. We so was what in was the your closet. Be, what was your best days? What was the best days that you killed them? The best days? Yeah. Best best days musically. <clears throat> or, or, yeah. In the music career. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When we used to hit that road, that was the best shit known to man. Hog. Give, give us a good old <laughs> Give us a good old story. What you got? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if that No black and mild and coke story. I don't know if that nigga gonna let me tell one of these. I got a bad motherfucker. You dig it? She is. You on the let connect. Let me tell you this nigga one about this nigga. I ain't gonna lie. My old dog was a bad motherfucker, man. I ain't gonna even bullshit. Well, he, he had a black and mild and a coke, nah, too. Nigga, we was in Memphis, nigga. Uh -oh. yes. We was in, and one thing he gonna knock you for you, bitch. You better believe that. <laughs> she tough. She she going. I just hey, but man, it it was some bitch. A bitch getting married. He probably don't even remember this shit. I got nah, a man. bunch of them on this nigga. <laughs> this nigga fucked the bride and the bride's maid one motherfucking night. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm talking about that. that was a bad. I'm talking about man. Yeah, motherfucker. Air where we read it was. You done fuck some superstars too, you saw them, bitch. Hey. <laughs> hey. Lord, nigga, forgive me. That boy, that that boy, bride and the bride That boy fucked the bride and the bride's maid, nigga. We at the bar. Them hoes chose. The bitch was getting married tomorrow. Damn. I know you don't remember that she shit. She probably divorced by now. Back in the day, I was turning up, Joe. That's yep. why that's his fifty percent. He knocked a comedian, a bad comedian down too. He knocked a good old oh, comedian. He telling your book. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slim gonna do a tell all book. Uh, I don't even know who the comedian is. Yeah, we ain't gonna put yeah. that out there. Killer, yeah. give us some of your stuff. Yeah, give us a story. Oh, good old boss all got a lot of days. Oh man, that boy that that boy had old bad, a bad little bitch. <laughs> that nigga had broke my little heart, but I just knew I had this bitch. <laughs> That boy, I knock this bitch down. This bitch go right that, right to this nigga. Deal when I come, we come back to the city. I think I got me some action. That bitch was like, hell no, nah, hey, that bitch ain't answer none of my motherfucking call. We get to the room, that bitch there for this nigga. All, all, so all, out of all the stories, you keep not killing for his bitch. The only one that nah, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say this. I, I know I would never does a dick on no. You will grab trip. yours and run in the room. You got me all right. You know I don't remember. You grab yeah. yours and go I'll in grab the room. Mine and go. Shut that but door. Nah, man, some of the best hell. shit. Some of the best shit, bro. Is, is just man. You know, we were just on that road and, and the performances, bro. Like to actually meet the people. To meet the people and network, and I think my most greatest moment, bro, had to be going in that booth at Rap City and destroying that motherfucker. That just felt, in the basement. yeah, bro. That shit just felt so motherfucking good, bro. To actually when we be out, and and I used to tell this nigga the one thing about me, bro, I always was prepared to rap at all time from the day I met this nigga, bro. Like. That's one thing, even to now, I'm prepared at any given go because I always <laughs> feel like mm. you don't get no but one time, bro. You don't get no second chance to make that first impression. And I believe shit. it. And I think niggas hunger, niggas hunger ain't like that. See me, bro, I still treat it. I eat half a sandwich, my nigga. I still want it. Well, nigga, nigga, spit something there. You on the spot then, nigga. Go ahead, nigga. Go ahead, nigga. What you got? You ain't never had nobody rap, nigga. Like, give us some quick couple of bars, nigga, whatever, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I'm going to give you some bars. Okay, I want to talk about Make some noise for Killer Call y'all. Right. Right. Killer <laughs> Call y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that man want me to rap. That's the cold part. I stay prepared. I that know boy, you do. Yeah. Come on, That's let's what I say, it. I need a doctor. I done fucked up my wrist around there playing with false. Seen a hundred around there playing with y'all. VVS's, they going to play in the dark. 
Fucking with killer, that's suicide. You done jumped in the water to play with a shark. I'm from the park. Got a bad bitch out the clock. Slap full of wood like an arc. Know a nigga, I can show a nigga way better than tell him. Chopper, get the yelling. If you lose lips, get the snitching and telling. Don't got no love for no bitch. I don't think Cupid exists. Eyes on my prize because I'm focused on rich. I'm about my money like Mitch. Play with that chick because I just hit a lick. Contract a nigga, I play with them bricks. Just like the white at the line. Niggas that hate, I'ma play with this bitch. Treat it, I'm beat up that hoe like she mine. Watch full of diamonds, I can't see the time. I bought that bitch for the shine, heart of a line. Y'all niggas pussy like cats, real getting too hard to find. Fake, I don't play it no mind. I am legend, nigga, real shit. I am legend, nigga, Will Smith. All these bitches on it, I should be a dick. I ain't got emotions, I don't feel shit. Yeah, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Hey, hey, that's, what, that's what you be getting them hyped up. Yeah. Because you got to understand, this nigga hated the rap. He hated the rap. Anytime we had the radio, come on, kill the gone head. And I just be, but I love this shit so much, bro. And that's why I see a lot of this shit gone, the passion. A lot of niggas' passion gone. And it's just, that, that that was some of the greatest moments I ever felt, bro. It's like, we at the radio stage, they really thought we were just, they see us coming out braided up. Mouth full of fucking dimes, all this jury. They really just thinking we just some niggas that can't rap. And I done seen this. And what a lot of motherfuckers don't know, they got this This nigga can rap. They just think he just, he just, he lazy to the motherfucker. This son of a bitch can rap. I done watched this nigga kill entourages of niggas. This nigga can rap. Don't get it. Don't y'all get it. I ain't got no up. extra raps right now that I ain't rap. Come on, Slim, what you got, nah, nigga? Yeah. Get off, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Better not recycle nah, nigga. Nah, that, nigga no that was on, one nigga. rule. That was a rule we had in the hall pen. I know you remember that rule. This man. nigga Slim, the Wasn't no the recycling nah, in the nah, hall pen. Nah, nah, nah. We I had niggas come out. over there to do it. Nigga, wasn't no recycling. We used to get nah. on nigga ass. Don't come in with don't that recycled ass re- shit. We don't want to hear them same raps again. <laughs> don't come in with that shit. Get out of here, man. <laughs> but that's yeah, what man. I used to love the most, bro. Like, it was, it, I just still feel to this day, bro, it ain't no crew of niggas. They can, you got to put us up there with the ghetto, boy. I ain't going to even bullshit you. We was the most dangerous Group of niggas walking these streets, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When you. y'all got with Lee, y'all went the fuck off with that first oh, boys yeah. in blue. Oh, I I really feel like every project that we did, bro. Yeah, I was listening to some old shit. It was jamming. That yeah. shit super jam. That dope man. Yeah, yeah. all that really, shit. That, that first it boys in blue. That shit sound like some shit that come shit. out today. Yeah, all yeah. that shit. Serving collect. Come that nah, nah, yeah. first one, man. Look. Yeah, I, mean, I was so- a fan when the first one bro. came out. Y'all niggas had me hot dropping them fucking posters like that bitch was about to come out and that bitch was <laughs> gonna come out. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, what the niggas used to be on that city boys and blue dropping April 13th? I missed that shit. Rico and them, the, the, the T pop and jamming ass joke. Rico and T pop. I'm fact, going through a contract breach with Ray. Nah, exactly. Nigga, me and Freddie Gibbs was jamming. I had to play the fucking boss for this nigga. I was like, wow. that nigga Slim like ended a whole group of niggas. Bro, like, oh, I man, don't but I'm just saying, like, this nigga, like, like, I got like, a whole damn. other story on that nigga. We go up to motherfucking 97. No! no! I got to tell it, bro. I got to tell it. No! We kept Kill saying no. We kept this a secret. I'm going to keep it a secret. I got to keep it a secret. I got to keep it a secret. Dream right. challenge. Dream no. Dream no. Dream talk about no. You can't do it. You I'm can't do it. I'm not dropping it. That's we cool. on the connect. Nah, look at that. We are on the <laughs> connect. <laughs> this is big as no, we, we, won the, we won the battle but <laughs> lost the war. <laughs> yeah. We are on the I connect. God damn, we, we won need, the battle and lost we the war. Need that bury, I think yeah, we going to bury that because the streets don't know about that. Both sides. I ain't going to lie. We destroyed the shit out of these niggas. Oh, we walk out of this bitch destroyed niggas and lost the motherfucker. Oh, oh, man. Make some love for Killer Cole, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, but we had too much fun, bro. It's, it's, it's some undescribable fun, bro. Yeah. We went to Miami and shut that bitch down. You remember yeah, that? What Miami. that was? 2001, 2002. We shut that motherfucker. We was shutting that bitch down going out there. That nigga get out there, Jimmy cooking number steak and shrimp on Ocean Drive, nigga, with a barbecue pit. We out there hooding the motherfucker. Hood, Harleys. Eight Harleys. Harleys coming down, man. That's Everybody when Memorial, jeered the fuck up. That's when Memorial Everybody. Was whole All team. Of us, the whole Every, squad. Whole team strong. No, nobody with no one chain. Everybody was two 
two chains and something big boy on the wrist. The whole team. <laughs> yeah. Funny story. Look. Yeah, I found out. When I was like you. fucking um, 17, 18, I don't know how old I was. We was at the Capitol or some shit. This nigga here had his motorcycle on the back of a truck or some shit. I don't know if you oh, remember man. that. They got towed. I don't know. He was bringing it. Like, y'all was just dropping that bitch off or some shit. Y'all had towed it out there or some shit. I don't know. I just remember our partner was like, oh shit, Slim Thug. And that nigga just said, huh. That's what I think that nigga had. But like, the nigga, like, it tripped me out because I was just like, one of the niggas I respect about dude, like, when you seen him, like, the nigga was exactly what he said he was. <laughs> and you know, that shit was kind of unusual at the time. <laughs> so it was just like, you know, the shit just added up. That was up. a nigga just try to be, I just try to be real. I hey. did that, bro. Like it ain't, it ain't niggas that get to that level, bro. And we done been around a lot of niggas. We thought way different. Perception, be some suckers. Perception. Perception. Back to the word. Perception, bro. Like, I for as many fake niggas that I met, bro, I done met a hundred real niggas. You know what I'm saying? And being real, then collected a bunch, of, a bunch of a nigga that met a bunch of good niggas, bro. Huh. In this business, man, and I can say like a lot of the good niggas is still winning. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of good niggas out there. Fab, real good nigga. The locks, some real good niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's just about E40, real good nigga. I just seen you and E40 for have something going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a real. Yeah, y'all real seen nigga. that shit? Bitch knocked that nigga out with some brass knuckles. That was yeah. a big lady, huh? That's what she had. <laughs> Bitch had brass knuckles. I seen that put on Snap last night, but it's something else he gonna show you. That was funny. Crazy. Let me see what's at the bottom. But yeah, man, Sam telling us we got to get off. We run out of time, so. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 we ain't bringing that up. We gonna let those. You can't talk about nobody. You can't face nobody. Hey, hey. Y'all was just finna go down. What happened? This is the connect. This is the we connect. Out of time, man. We out of time. Man. We we gonna, out of tune time. in next week yes, and we sir. might tell y'all what happened. We're gonna run them sponsors, though. This podcast is sponsored by www.bosslifeworld.com for all the fashion yes. needs. We got all the new, new shit, man. Oh, Keychains, oh. lighters, t shirts, oh, whatever shot. you need. Dropping something every Sammy. Monday, March Madness. Cold, hey, we got the oh, connectmusic.com for all your Texas, you know what I'm saying, musical needs. It's a hell of a blog site. Got live shit on there. We got Burns, barbecue burns, burgers, uh, Boss life motors. I gotta go try to burn. Hey, you need a car? Come holler at us. You need a car? Come holler at us. Boss life motors. Can you get it? Coming soon. We got boss life beer. Boss life beer. And 40 locations near you. We got so much shit going on. I forgot like a motherfucker. Boss up, Rico. Boss up, goddamn. Hey, man. What else? Hey, shout out to Let's Kill Our Guests. What you boys got going on? What y'all dropping? Oh, oh man, I got I got like f- four projects done. Killer got a new yeah, mixtape right now. He on that. Going yeah, I got a from- whole crazy little mixtape I did damn near like two years ago that was just sitting on ice, and I was like, fuck it. It's, it's called Mister. Yeah, Mister. Mrs. Smith. I got on um, a project called the Lorraine Motel on some country shit of what's going on. Then I'm dropping this CPTP3. Well, shit, one of them should be dropped uh, exclusively on the Connect Music, but I ain't going to say nothing. I'm but, down with uh, Yeah, right Kelly. Right hey, well, what's you up? You know what? Uh, real I'm life, down, don't have, let's talk about that, um, that my song, uh, Welcome to Houston. No? Bad motherfucker. Yeah. That yeah. motherfucker they was on. All them they definitely ass got niggas. all them niggas, and they Killer all definitely Calion. got down too. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, yeah. I like this song. I'm mad I ain't get on the other one because that motherfucker one? is the truth. That friends and niggas suck me. Right, Goddamn, boy, that motherfucker yeah. the truth, man. Which yeah, one? I did, yeah. she with zero and zero and J Dog. I talked to Larry last night, man. That, that nigga really called me. He back and, working. He was man, in the studio. Yeah, he was in the studio with Chris Moore, bro. That nigga shot me. That's what happened to me. I was up there with him. He called me and really told. Told me some live shit that a nigga really needed to hear because a lot of motherfuckers that know me, man, bro, I've been real competitive in this shit for a long time. And he said some shit to me, bro, that made the most sense in the world. He said, bro, sometimes don't even com- don't even make it a competition because mm. it really ain't one. Make these let these niggas fuck with you. Don't even make right. these niggas feel like that you in competition with them. Right. And I've been in such a competitive nature. 
with the shit for so long because I just be feeling like a black sheep to where it had me built it to where, bro, I can honestly say the first, this the first two years of my life to where the game made me humble myself completely because I because you'll be damn near like a bully and don't even know that that's what you're doing to where you got to come down to earth and allow I've been fucking, telling you, man, quit yeah. cussing out your fans. That nigga say, I'm in there, nigga, and we'll shoot you hoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. That's our fans. That's how I got the, no that's how no. I got the name. I got the name there. Yeah, crazy, man. Nigga. But now, nah, man, shit just live and you learn, though. You man. live and you learn, and the, and the one thing about it, bro, I ain't skipped a struggle. Right. It's been it's been a motherfucking struggle, but it's been a beautiful one. Like my homeboy, who they done stole this title, this motherfucking album about a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, man, it's the struggle been beautiful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause a nigga can die with some monumental motherfucking memories, bro. Monumental moments. So, Lester, what you got coming out? Man, I got a EP coming out, Mr. Steak and Shrimp, that come out this month. I got an album called Southwest 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 Wholesale coming out later on this year. Oh look, this boy here's such a fucking j marketing genius. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that nigga uh, got this shit done. Like, you know, I go on a tour. Well, uh, me and Freddie Gibbs going on the road. So like, you know, got my own little tour later on. So you know they're trying to get to the money, man. Right now, yeah. stay working. You want one of them mixtapes on the connect to? They albums, but you know y'all can stream. Okay, you right. Let me tell you, no more mixtapes. Let me tell you something about the halls. Let me tell you about the halls. Give us a video. We don't give away shit. Hey, we don't give away nothing. We don't give away Biggest nothing. Bitch, the Connect face. got three of you hogs in here tonight. Why don't y'all drop a special freestyle on the connectmusic.com? You know that nigga that ain't for the dude no rest. Let's get it. Tonight. Right give me now. some of them stickers. Man, man. where that beat sound We can do that, hoe. Yeah, let's get it right now. Bam. There it is. There uh, it is. Rest in peace, M-U-G, main boss, outlaws. Hey, yeah. rest we peace, out. Rest in peace, Carlo. We out of here, man. R.I.P. Carlo, too, man. Hey, you tuned in to the connection. Yeah.